Hello, thanks for stopping by this video today. I'm going to show you how to delegate to my stake pool or any other stake pool in the Roy Shelley testnet with your Roy wallet. But the first thing you're going to want to do is go to the first link in the description down below and it's going to take you to this web page. And all you got to do is click add to Chrome and then it's going to pop up with a little icon that looks just like this. So you're going to click that and it's going to take you over to this page. It's, first it's going to ask you to select your language and then it's going to ask you to agree to the terms of service. I've already done that so this is the next page that's going to come up and the way that we're going to go about this today is we're going to click create new wallet and then we're going to type in our wallet name, our spending password. This is the password you need to either delegate ADA or spend it. So then make sure you write, write this down next to your key. So once, once you type this in, I've already done this for the sake of time. It's going to ask you to write down your uh, code. Just make sure you write that down. This is going to be your code for, um, or it's going to be your private key for the test net. So it is pretty important. Write that down in your important uh, booklet and then write that down next to the spending password. So once you have that all done, it's going to ask you to type it in again. And then it's going to take you to this web page right here. And then once you're here, this is your wallet. Uh, for whatever reason, I'm getting syncing issues, so I don't actually have the ADA that I should in my wallet. My buddy let me use his Jeroy wallet, but I'm going to show you guys how to recover the uh, ADA from the mainnet, from either Daedalus or Jeroy. So once you have this up, you're going to want to go to this button right here, and then so you have you can either transfer funds from Legacy Daedalus or transfer funds from Jeroy. So if you're going to use Daedalus, you're going to click one of these three buttons, either for a wallet, a paper wallet, if you created a paper wallet, or a Daedalus master key. So once you uh, click that, it's just going to ask you to type that in, verify the checksums, and then it'll show you the transfer. You confirm that, and you're good to go. And the same thing happens over here. So I already did this just to speed up the process of the video, but you click. So if you're on your ROI, if it's a legacy mnemonic, sorry if I pronounced that wrong, you're going to click legacy. If it's a legacy paper wallet, you're going to click that. And if you don't know, uh, just try legacy. And if it doesn't work for this, then just go ahead and try mnemonic. Because if it was older, it's going to be legacy. If it's newer, it's going to be this. So you're going to try to transfer it over. You're going to type in your keys there. It's going to say, all right, check the checksum. It's going to show two checksums from your Byron wallet to your Shelly wallet. Uh, if everything looks good, the addresses look good, just click check and then it's going to take you to a transaction screen. It's going to show the amount that you're transferring over, just click confirm on that transaction and then you're going to come back to the Uroi main page and then once you're here, it might take a little bit to sync your balance like it, it is for me, but I'm trying to make this video to get it out quick for you guys to let you know that the Uroi wallet is out for the testnet so you can start staking and you can start making some dividends on your money from staking. So once you have the ADA in your wallet, you're going to want to come to Delegation Simple, and then you're going to want to search for a stake pool. If you have another stake pool in mind, go for it. But in this video, we're going to be using my stake pool today because it does support me, and uh, my fees aren't too bad compared to some people. But I really do appreciate it if you do stake to my pool. Uh, real quick, I also have, um, so you're just going to search pay real quick. But if you do uh, want to support me and you want to be a part of my pool, it's always going to be small. So there's an, it's never going to meet the saturation. There's a certain point of ADA in a pool where it becomes saturated to where you don't make as much ADA on there. Since my YouTube channel is so small and my reach is so small, my, my uh, pool is never going to become saturated. And I've got good servers. I've got a good backup for my server. Uh, currently, if you look on the ranking, the rankings are messed up because there's an issue going on with block syncing. So although my ranking is bad, that's uh, negligible right now. Maybe next week it'll be fixed. Because I was uh, in the, a very high rank and now I'm a very low rank because the uh, ranking system's messed up due to block height issue. If you guys want more information on that down below, feel free. But if you do uh, want to delegate to my stake pool, all you got to do is click that button right there. See, I'm getting more Roy issues. But we're going to search pay up again. But if you guys do want to delegate to my stake pool, I'm going to have an email list down below. You only get one email a month, tops, probably not even that. And what it's going to be is just going to be updates for my stake pool because currently IOHK didn't add in a way for stake pool owners to update delegators in case something happens. If I want to lower my fees, which I do want to once I cover server costs, um, I have to notify you guys that so you can re-delegate so you don't lose any money. But I, I do want a way to notify, notify you guys of lowering my fees or of any other things that are really important or if there's any issues. So 
uh, yeah, feel free to do that email list down below. You don't have to, but I would like to notify you in case you lose your delegation because I'm lowering fees. So once you do that, you're gonna to wanna to click delegate. And it's gonna say it's not able to me because I, my ADA hasn't synced yet. But normally it's just gonna take you to a page and it's gonna ask you, ask you one more question. You're gonna click delegate again and then it'll say good. So once you are delegated to my pool, uh, your Roy has this cool little dashboard over here. And it'll say your total ADA, your total rewards, and your total delegation. And, and then it's gonna show my pool down in this area below. And, and that's that's it. You are delegated to my stake pool in the Roy test or in the test net on your Roy wallet. Uh, you also can bring over your Daedalus wallet uh, into your Roy if you really need to. But like I said, I, I like to help people out. So if you guys have any questions or any issues with anything, feel free to comment down below. Uh, I also have a bat donation on my YouTube channel and a, a main net Daedalus wallet donation. Um, if you guys want to send money to the stake pool, uh, the pledge address is shown. But yeah, that's it. Like I said, any questions down below, I would appreciate it. I hope you guys all have a wonderful day and happy staking in the Shelly Testnet.